Good morning, everybody. Well, I am showing you here my little latest creation, which is, I guess, uh, pancakes or fritters, whatever you want to call them. Um, I forgot to make my oatmeal last night like I normally do. And I just kind of did not feel like straying from having my normal meal, but I didn't feel like wanting to sit there and actually make oatmeal. So I decided I'll make pancakes, but I didn't have any extra eggs. So I just kind of winged it for today. And I'm actually not disappointed in any way. So I started off with a half cup of oats, one tablespoon of chia seeds, uh, a cap full of vanilla extract, two shakes of cinnamon, a little sprinkle of nutmeg. Um, this is actually one strawberry half with uh, the Oiko's Greek yogurt, and I put it in the ice cube tray. I put two of those in the microwave for 30 seconds, kind of melted it up, and threw it in the batter. Unfortunately, it was still not at the consistency I wanted, so I added another spoonful of the Greek yogurt. It was still really obnoxiously thick, and it was not um, grinding very well. As you can see, that's a very, very thick batter. I mean, look at that. Yeah, it's very thick. But, like I said, I am not disappointed one slight bit. Um, I heated up my pan with just, just a little itty bitty bit of uh, coconut oil. And, um, well, this is what they came out like. The texture, it's really soft and chewy. Um, and here I have my little itty bitty cup. I have two tablespoons of syrup. I don't have sugar free, I ran out, so I just use regular syrup. But it's only two tablespoons, it won't kill me. And they actually taste really good. I was surprised. I was like, oh, they're probably not gonna taste anywhere near as good. But they came out great. So for those of you that want to keep it really simple and uh, don't mind uh, dealing with a thick batter, look at that. Look at that. Perfect. And it looks like a yin yang. Uh -huh. Cool. Perfectly balanced breakfast. Yeah. But um, yeah, if you want to keep it relatively simple, like how I make my oatmeal, obviously just adding the um, Greek yogurt. That's the only difference, and it, oh, I also had to add half a cup of water. Actually, no, it was a quarter cup, because it was just ridiculously thick. So, um, yeah, like, I would highly recommend this. It's simple, easy, it tastes great. So, I hope you guys enjoy this. If you want me to actually do, like, a full demonstration, I will do so. Just let me know. Don't feel afraid to hit the like button or subscribe, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday. Bye!